Hi everyone, this is Natraj. I'm back with another video. Today I'm going to talk about that GCP Secret Manager to managing your secret using Terraform. So keeping the sensitive data is a top priority for any application. The Google Cloud Platform is provide the service called Secret Manager to allow to store your managing and secrets. In this video, I will show to you how to use the Terraform to create the Secret Manager and Secret in GCP. What is the Secret Manager? The Google Cloud Secret Manager is a secret storage solution for sensitive information such as password, API keys and their secrets. It provides a centralized location for managing and data protection your secrets. You can integrate it with other Google Cloud services such as the Cloud Identity and Access Management. Secret data is immutable. If you need to change the secret value, then you need to create the new version. Some of the key features of the GCP management, which is including below, you will see one by one. First one is the encryption. The secret manager secret always encrypted by default, but you can also to configure the custom manager secret keys. Next one is that access control. Mm. Controlling access to the secret based on that identity of the person or the service. Next one is the auditing. You can track that who will be have the access and when they can access this data. All the information we can have that uh, storing into that auditing log. Next one is the versioning. The secret manager is supporting for versioning. You can store the multiple version of the secrets and roll back to the previous version if you need it. Next one is the REST API. So you can use that programmatic access also that you can support. Next one is the replication policies. If you are looking for high availability secrets, then you will be replicating across the multiple region. We are at the Visual Studio code. The entire code is available on my repository. You can clone from any time. You can see the reference side is the Terraform code structure. We can see the file one by one. The first file we can see at that main.tl file. The first resource is that the Google project service. We are going to enabling the secret manager APIs. Uh, you can see the thing the service I uh, use that secret manager dot google api dot com. So this is the service. So each service have unique APIs. So according to that we have to enable that uh, API service before. Next resource is that random strings. It can create the random strings based on the length and the pressure characters. Next resource is the Google Secret Manager secrets. It is mainly used to create the GCP secret manager. You can see the thing the secret ID I defining the DB password secrets. The labeling I am using for identification purpose. The replication auto is a store the secret value into the particular region. The next resource is that Google Secret Manager secret version. It mainly to create that new version. Whatever the password I generated, I store into that secret manager version. The next file is the provider.tf file. Here I am using the Terraform recommended version as per the documentations. You can see the things the provider is a Google Doc. Uh, this credentials which are calling the service account JSON file. This service account I provide necessity permission to create that uh, particular process. And the project ID and region and zone I define it with it here. So next file is that variable.tl file. In this variable dot where is there a quite parameter we have to pause. The project, location and the region, these are things we have to mention in that uh, terraform.tf files. You can see here the project location I defined here. Uh, other one is the dot ignores. So some of the file I am ignoring while pushing to the my repositories. So yeah, uh, we will go into that uh, terminal to executing the terraform operations. So I am going to click the three dot. Here I am going to execute in the terraform in command to downloading all the settings. Now I am going to execute in the terraform plan command to validate the syntax and the defined variables. Sorry. Yeah, you can go to add the four resource and uh, there, is the, there is a zero changes and zero destroys. So we are going to execute in the apply command. Yeah, provided that user input is yes. The Terraform operation successfully completed. We are moving to the GCP console. I am choosing my projects. Uh, my testings. 
Now I am going to search with the secret manager in the search button. I click the secret manager. Yeah, you can see here there's the DB possible is created. Uh, just I click these things. Yeah, you can see the thing the version is one is one. Also, you can view the password just to view the secret value here. These are the random value I generated. If you want to get the new versions, you can just click that the new version manually. Also, this particular option you can perform in Terraform also. My upcoming video I can show to you how to create the new version. Yeah, that's all this video. I hope uh, this video will be useful to everyone. Thanks for watching. Bye.